Okay, time for something a little different. Um, I am recording this to upload to YouTube rather than going live with it, which is an idea that I had, <clears throat> but it wouldn't work because what I'm doing here is trying to solve a cryptic crossword uh, quickly. Uh, and of course, for a live stream, if it takes me 15, 20 minutes or something, uh, yeah, for live, that's not very good. Um, why am I switching over to uh, crosswords? Well, I usually stream gaming. Um, I used to do The Last of Us quite a bit. Um, erstwhile regular streamer of A Way Out, um, but that's kind of finished now. Uh, but mostly, most recently, um, Everybody's Golf. Now, unfortunately, the Everybody's Golf uh, online servers were taken down at the end of last month, September. Uh, so there's no golf anymore. And I'm kind of struggling with ideas about what to do next. I thought, well, you know, you do crosswords, that's your life. So, yeah, I'm going to do a solve. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, an independent crossword, as you can see there, set by uh, Phi. That's Paul Henderson. Uh, this will be a little bit awkward because um, I'm doing this on a laptop having to input the answers uh, using the laptop keyboard, which for me is a little bit fiddly. <laughs> I, I do actually have um, a remote, uh, a USB uh, wireless uh, keyboard. And for some reason, the laptop is not picking it up. I don't know what's wrong with that. So I'll have to do this in the slightly clumsy way, which will see me kind of reaching forward to keys. So, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, let's crack on. Uh, if, I have uh, an almost white um, web page open on my monitor here because the lights that I've got, uh, they're not very good and uh, the camera's looking crap. So I'm going to switch over to the puzzle and uh, let's get started. I promise you I've not looked at this incidentally. Um, this is the independent and I have to kind of resize everything so that you can just kind of see the puzzle as it is now. Um, but yes, I've not looked at anything at all. So let's get cracking. And I will try to do a little bit more uh, clue explanation than you would get uh, from somebody just casually solving. Because as a setter, uh, I, I know the tricks. <laughs> and I'll try to explain some of the devices that get used as we go along. So let's start with one across. What do we have? Uh, military policeman's discussion about East Washington area. Straight away, I can see red cap. And what I'm going to do now is try to justify it. A military policeman is a red cap. So there's the definition. Military policeman's discussion about East Washington area. Well, this is fairly straightforward. Um, East Washington area, for, an, for a six-letter answer, uh, and it's only part of the wordplay, it would have to be a very, very short name. So it's something else. An East Washington area, it's a bit too specific, for, especially for a UK puzzle. But the Washington area, I can see that, DC, Washington, DC. So East goes before it, and that is inside discussion wrap, which is about, as in surrounding. So that was a nice, easy start. Now, a lot of solvers would go now to five across. Not me. I look, I look at given letters. Um, right, what do we have? Soldier online captured in lament with style. Okay, on line, line I can see as the abbreviation L. Um, I'll leave that one. Right, skeptic. Clearly heartless and not quite nice. Well, clearly heartless again. That's a, a that's a shout. If you take away everything which forms the heart of the word clearly, you end up with C Y. And then not quite nice. And this is nice. It's not giving a synonym for nice actually giving us the letters. So it's N-I-C, which is not quite the word nice. Uh, four down. 
guarantee concert is ending in sati well ending in sati is e so guarantee is going to be uh, the definition definition is always at the start or finish of a clip well 99 percent of the time it's at the start or finish of a clip um so guarantee concert it's a prompt and then oops my bad told you i knew what it was going to be like with this keyboard and then is and then the ending in sati is the e so and we've got two letters here so as i get more than one letter somewhere i'll focus on that oh and this is hyphenated as well a new chapter penned by unassuming boy <sighs> well i can penned straight away to pen something imagine animals in a pen you're surrounding them so it looks like a container that's going on here so a new chapter would be ch and then new standard abbreviation i don't know where new actually gets used as an abbreviation n so a oh a boy is a man child okay so it's penned by unassuming which is mild told you it was an it was a container right short one seabird i can see turn immediately Heading away from rear of boat. The rear of the boat is the stern, but we're taking the heading away from that. Now, more letters here. Soldier online. Well, soldier, there's no soldier that's going in there. So it's either, uh, it must be with style, because otherwise we'd have to finish with a W with or and i think it's with style so with style would be elegantly let's see if we can justify it uh soldier on line ant is a type of soldier okay that is on line captured in lament elegy there you go Okay, we're making some headway here. Movement of foot initiating exercise. That's plain. Uh, okay, that's a little bit trickier. Not many, everybody knows that word. A step is a, a plane. Didn't give me the steps of uh, Russia, um, Tibet, I think. Uh, anyway. So, a movement of foot is a step initiating exercises. Yeah, that's quite clever, because it could have been movement of foot exercises, but it doesn't make much sense. But it's initiating, it's starting it. So, we're going with step first, and then exercises, PE. Sorry, I've just got a McAfee notice on my laptop there. Quite annoying, just in the way. Uh, yeah, so uh, another one. Right, a word that starts with, uh, sorry, an answer which starts with O. And you don't get a huge number of those, not like your S's and your T's and your P's and things. Right, De Quincey say, by his own admission, concocted mere utopia. Concocted, again, that shouting anagram indicator. So an, an anagram of mere utopia... is opium eater has to be de quincey didn't he write confessions of an opium eater or something like that confessions of an english opium eater i've never read it Picked it up from somewhere. Anyway, I think I think that's what it was called. <clears throat> right. 
by his own admission. So confessions of, yeah, something like that. Right, five down. Sporting superstar landed, losing time. Okay, well, that's going to be straightforward. We're looking for a word for landed, but we're going to lose the abbreviation T for time. And it's going to be super sporting superstar with three letters. It has to be Ali, mustn't it? So that's Alit landed, losing time. Okay, this is a Monday puzzle, incidentally, so we're not expecting a huge uh, challenge. Um, I'm liking the look of that Y there, uh, but not immediately. <laughs> right. Hated sailor was to nick expense. So again, to nick, to capture. If you think of a, a police nicking somebody. It's funny, some of the uh, indicators that we have, whether it's for anagrams or containers or things, you won't immediately think of them in that literal sense. But it's long been the custom in cryptics that we have some words and phrases which are indicators which you don't take literally, it's, it's they're more kind of suggestions of what's going on. You can visualise. So we are looking for something for hated, and I can see uh, abhorred. Again, what I'm doing is I'm putting in the answer in a way that you wouldn't do if you were solving in a newspaper, because obviously you, you can't go back. But at least on an online puzzle, if it's wrong, we can delete and try again. So let's see if we can justify this. I'll just move my mouse out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Hated sailor, AB, standard, able-bodied seaman. Uh, worked on plot to Nick X. Well, expensive car is nearly always RR for Rolls-Royce. Rolls-Royce, I can speak. Uh, worked on plot, honed. Yeah, okay. Displaying heroic style in full, not in full. Well, that suggests Homeric. Oh, that's that's a nice little one. Yeah, that does work. Okay, this is cleverly, cleverly done. Because in... Uh, it almost disappears. I keep looking at the wrong bit of the My laptop, my former laptop, had a, an inbuilt camera. This one doesn't. It's a separate one that's above. So I'm, I keep looking in the wrong place. Um, yes, displaying heroic, heroic style is Homeric. And then in is home. Is anybody home? Is anybody in? And then full would be rich. But we're not showing that in full. So taking the last letter off. Right, that's got to start with R-E-A. I'm sure of it, whatever it is. Uh, defensive about curtailed debate. Curtailed debate. So there's going to be something with a last letter removed again. Uh, with witty character seeing conservative off. Seeing conservative off. So we're losing a C somewhere. So, defensive. Mm, not seeing that. Right, approve turning up after drug treatment. Should see that. Should see that. OK, well, let's go on to something where we don't have as many letters. Uh, being fond of sex, say, could make nuts, could make nuts ache. Well, <coughs> nuts ache is definitely not a definition. I wish it was. So could make, it's an anagram of nuts ache. Okay. Unchaste. Being fond of sex, say. Because you could be unchaste 
Um, doesn't necessarily mean that you're mad for it, if you know what I mean. Right, okay. Garment more like culottes than kilt. Well, I'm thinking about doublet because I can see a double T in collapse and only one in kilt. But I'm wondering with more light, because double T, could you... Grammatically, does that match up? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not happy with that yet. Waste disposal expert... Hurried to take in business meeting. Okay, to take in, so it's going to be another container clue. Not quite sure. Hurried. Well, hurried could be ran. Not going to be something like raced, because then we have one letter to justify business meeting, and we're not going to... Uh, to oh, ragman. Ragman. There we go, hurried, ran, and it's that R and those, that A and that N, that takes in AGM, annual general meeting. Oh, there could be enema. <laughs> uh, approve. It is enema. <laughs> but you wouldn't get that in a Times crossword or a, um, a Telegraph crossword. But yes, approve, turning up, so to approve is to amen, and that turns up after the drug, E, for ecstasy. Right. Oh, hang on, that's rear guard. It's the only answer that fits. It has to be. Uh, let's see if we can justify it again. Right. Uh, defensive is rear guard. <clears throat> About RE. Very, very common cryptic uh, feature. Uh, curtailed debate, argue. So debate is to argue. And that's, so we've taken the last letter off that. And we're left with A-R-D. Witty characters seen conservative of. So to C, card. It would be C-A-R-D. But we're taking the conservative, the common abbreviation C, off that. So, okay. Right, that we've basically got the top half done in five minutes. Right, Republicans second, which would be an E. Let's go for that. So, easily visible has to be I something. Second to bellow, uh, to bellow could be to yell about First Lady Eve. Okay, so that one's, well, that's, that is looking like doublet now. Right, so yes, Republican second, the second letter of Republican is E, and then we have uh, to bellow, to yell. And that is about surrounding, which I think we've seen somewhere else. And then First Lady Eve, as in Adam and Eve. So that is looking like doublet. I'm not quite sure I'm happy with the, the grammar. Although, oh no, you know what, that's fair. It is. In, in more informal speech, you could say, you know... Collapse, it's double T. Yeah. I yeah, I can I can I can take that. Uh thieving is pilfering. Right, large amount of money brought about fine. Fine right, okay, it's, it's okay, I can see F for fine, which is telling me it has to be pilfering. Let's have a look. Right, thieving, La large amount is pile, a large amount of money is a pile, that's brought about fine, and then expression of 
anger ring. Oh, pilferage. Yeah. Oh, my word. Come on. Pilferage. Rage. Expression of anger. Okay. Oh, a V. A V. Come on. Small traces of vestige. Say, I picked up on waistcoat. Oh, that was inspired. Right. Um, say, e.g., for example, one, or I. And that's picked up, reversed, on uh, waistcoat. I, it's, a, it's a weird thing. It is allowed um, in some cryptic crosswords and not others. For a down clue, you would expect on to be at the top. Um, it's generally on is allowed in a in an across clue. Really, it should be something like underneath. But it depends because if you're writing this, if you're writing, trying to write the answer out on a piece of paper, you would have it going from left to right, not from top to bottom. So you know you can think of it as being you're solving the you're solving that clue outside of the grid itself. If you were using pen and paper, then on would work fine. Uh, right, oh, is, is that going to be a plural? Shells, yeah, okay, I'm going to go for. <clears throat> Problem with photography in wine centre. Well, wine centre would be I-N. Problem with photography in wine center. Well, it's definitely a problem with photography, isn't it? Oh, red eye. <laughs> that was actually very, very simple. Okay. <clears throat> in wine, red. And the center of something is the eye. It's weird, isn't it? You've got eye and eye. Oh, one thing I just want to mention. I might be wrong, but this grid is looking like there's something thematic, something hidden in it. Um, <clears throat> with most what you would call standard cryptic crosswords, you would expect at least one long answer, maybe a 15 letter answer down the middle or a couple of 12s, 13s, 14s, 15s. But we don't. We have two 10 letter answers and that's all we've got in terms of length. Now, usually when you see a crossword which has mainly shorter answers, you're going to look for something hidden somewhere. Uh, can't see anything at the moment. It would generally be in unchecked cells. An unchecked cell, by the way, <clears throat> is one which only has a place in one answer. The L is not. That's called a cross-checking cell because it's in both eye level and pilferage. F is unchecked. It's only a part of that answer. So, oh, hello. Ah, spotted something. L I B R. Could it be? Yes. Okay. Good guesswork there that paid off. Uh, book is B. Again, it's one of those abbreviations that I don't remember ever seeing in real life. Where that where it would get used. However, <clears throat> in tragedy, I fancy. So you have letters of tragedy, T-R-A, and the rest. I fancy. Well, fancy means ornate. So another anagram indicator. So finding location of the railway tragedy, the famous Taybridge. Uh, when was that? Early, early 20th century, or was it even before that? Uh, anyway, so good. Uh, right. Uh, record reduction in action by mass. Uh, 
parasite. No, not seeing that. Makes new arrangement of recording in store displays. Makes new arrangement. It's going to be re something, isn't it? Hmm. I'm slowing down a little here. Now let's fight on. Shells hold section. The fighter escapes. Right, cities laid out, uh, out, anagram indicator straight away, and I, I, I tend to count letters in answers immediately. You see 10 letters there. So cities laid out, it's an anagram of cities laid uh, on a utopian scale, must be idealistic. Okay, that's good. Uh, political associates plan back to front. Okay, well, it's going to be a reversal. Or <clears throat> another possibility, back to front, is rather than reversing the answer, we take the last letter and put it to the front. So that's... Let's have a look. What would a, a plan be? Oh, aid. There you go. A political associate is an aid. And then the plan, back to front, is idea. So the back of idea has gone to the front. We're not getting very generous um, crossing letters at the moment. In fact, the only one which is anything like uh, you know, minimising the number of possible answers is the C there and the D. But the rest are what we call setters letters. E-S-T-R-E-E-E-T. -E 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 so that make that can make things uh, a little bit more difficult. Uh, Dickens' character, uncultured. Right. Well, Dickens' character is not part of the wordplay. Uh, because uncultured doesn't mean anything doesn't indicate any kind of wordplay. So, uncultured after receiving introduction to Gradgrind, or Gradgrind, how do you say that name? I don't know. So, the introduction to Gradgrind, or Gradgrind, is G. So, if we have to get, not Ogden, Od Oden, uncultured, not Oden. Uh, oh, so much more well-known one, Rudge, Barnaby Rudge. So there we have uncultured, rude, which it receives. Again, it's a container indicator, takes something in. Uh, the G of Gradgrind. Uh, oh, oh. Not liking the look of that. Might be... Uh -huh. Okay, let's see if we can just get uh, uh, I'm think I'm thinking this is tot because sun is more likely to be the definition here because third is not, <laughs> it definitely isn't, neither is offloads third. So it has to be tot, which is the only thing I can think of for a sum or two sum. Um, an unofficial salesman offloads third, so it's getting rid of the third letter of tout. Okay, not as scary as I thought. Oh, look at this. Well, thankf <laughs> thankfully it's easy. 
But honestly, when you have letters like that, you, you dread it. So many possibilities. But that was actually the first one I thought. Uh, tenement. So, housing. And the principle is a tenant. And that is to accommodate, to take in, blokes, men. There you go. Okay. Now, what do we say about 20? Makes new, so that's going to be an S. Uh, moderate frequently behind introduction to socialism. Introduction, first letter again, has to be the S. So, frequently, often. That was okay. Thought that was going to be a bit tougher. So you have frequently, often, and that is situated behind the introduction to socialism. Yes. Okay. Uh, we must have a chance with this. Keyside is a wharf. Question cut short by bark. Okay. Oh, well, actually, there's a couple of different possibilities here, isn't there? Uh, but uh, bark is arf. That could be who or why. She's cut short. We'll never know which one. Now, this can have fewer... Oh, I've, I've just got to try and think of anything that will fit in there. It's not going to be throwers, because... Oh, it could be re-racks, I suppose, but makes new arrangement of the call. Well, it could be, couldn't it? Um... But I don't think it is. Record reduction in action by mass parasite. Uh, well, para a parasite could be. To is it pointing to worm? That would be tape worm. Oh, to tape is to record. Right. Oh, I'm still not sure. Well, mass, you do physics, is M. So W R W O R in action. Reduction in action. Okay, well it's a shortening again. It must be work that's being shortened. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. Right. Makes new arrangements, so it, it can only be repacks. I can't think of any other word that goes in there. So, makes new arrangement of, of recording. The recording could be an EP. Store displays would be racks. Yeah. Okay. I think. No recording. I mean, typically you would see that clue as a record. But I guess an album is as much a recording. You could, yeah, you could call it that. All right, finally, see if we can get this. Shell's old section. The fighter escapes. I'm not sure. Oh, hang on. Now, I was going to say I wasn't sure where the definition was. But it must be shells. Because if it was escapes, and it wouldn't be fighter escapes, that doesn't mean anything. If it was escapes, the wordplay would be shells old section, but fighter. And that, that just doesn't lead to anything at all. So it has to be shells. 
Uh, old. Well, old, again, it's an abbreviation. I don't know where it gets used in real life. Now, that's pointing to Ormers, which I've heard of. It's a very crosswordy answer. No, I don't want to. Uh, so you get old section, but fighter escapes. Oh, oh, I was wrong with the O. I was wrong. Old is former. And then S for section, which I think is a mathematical abbreviation. But fighter escapes. Why is F? Fight? Oh, well, it has the, like, uh, aircraft, like the, uh, what, F F-17 or something like that. The F stands for fighter. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So, how did we do? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. Oh, show. 10 minutes, 45. Okay. Do bear in mind that I did spend, if I'd speed solving that, instead of wittering on about how clues worked. Um, it would have been faster. So that's why I didn't do this live. Uh, <laughs> uh, because this has been a, a 37 minute recording. Uh, that's not good for a stream. Anyway, uh, hopefully I'll be back with uh, more of the same. Not necessarily every day, uh, but that was a good solve. Enjoyable. Um, a very easy introduction to the week. And um, yes, thanks for watching. We'll catch you with another one, hopefully soon.